All right, and on the second page now, we have five multiple choice questions. We'll see if we can get through them in two videos here. Number one, a triangular prism and a triangular pyramid have congruent bases measuring 10 square units and heights of 5 units. Okay. Which of the following statements is true about the volumes of the prism and the pyramid? About the volumes. Okay, guess what? It doesn't tell me the height of the pyramid or the prism. So it's not even going to, uh, there's no calculation to do. There's not enough information to calculate. So I'm thinking this question has to do with a one third relationship there, three pyramids in a, in a prism. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, which is true. The volumes are equal? No. The volumes are equal? No. Uh, nope. The volumes have a ratio of three to one because the dimensions of the bases are congruent and the heights are equal. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. The volumes have a ratio of one to three, it's true, because the bases are congruent. Well, no, we're missing the heights thing, right? You have to talk about their heights. So part, uh, answer choice C. Their ratio is three to one or one to three because their bases are equal, congruent, and their heights are equal. Number two. Mallory constructs models to show the relationship between the volume of a triangular prism and the volume of a triangular pyramid. Very good. Good job, Mallory. A plus. The triangular prism models have base area of six square inches and the height of six inches. Mallory also constructs a triangular pyramid with a base and a height that are congruent to the corresponding parts of the prism. So again, these are two shapes that are exactly the same size, only one's a prism and one's a pyramid. Which conclusion is not true about the relationship between the volumes and the models? Well, let's see. The volume of the prism is triple the volume of the pyramid. That sounds pretty good to me. The volume of the pyramid is three times the volume of the prism. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, the pyramid's smaller, my man. That one's wrong. The volume of the pyramid is one-third the volume of the prism. Yeah, that's another way of saying that one. And the volume of the prism is three times the... Dude, we just said that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so bees. Only one. In fact, even if you didn't know true to one. That was the only one that doesn't mean exactly the same thing as these other three. So, bam, it's got to be the one. Right? All right, we can do one more. A triangular prism has a base that is congruent to the base of a triangular pyramid. Their heights of the two figures are also congruent. Perfect. If the volume of the triangular pyramid is 70, which expression can be used to find the volume of the triangular prism? So, you got to remember, are we... Dividing this by three, are we multiplying it by three? To get from a pyramid to a prism, you have to multiply by three, right? So it's going to be three times just, it's not going to be times the height, you already have that. It's just going to be three times 70. Three times 70. The volume of the pyramid is 70, so the volume of the prism, well, three of them put together. All right, you know what? I'll shoot through these because these aren't too bad at all. Number four, the base area of a triangular prism is 20 square units, okay? The height of the prism is 12 units. Which of the following best describes the volume of a triangular pyramid with the same dimensions? Okay, I'm going from prism to pyramid. So I have to divide by three. Well, let's see. Well, there's the one third right there. Nothing else has it. This one says 20 times 12, right? No one third. This one says half of 20 times 12. Nope. This one says three times 20 times 12. Nope. One third of 20 times 12. Hey, perfect. There we go. Awesome. A triangular pyramid, number five, with a volume of 90 cubic inches has a height of 15 inches. A triangular prism with a volume of 270 cubic inches has a height of 15 inches. What must be true of their bases? Oh, man, they don't have the same volume. Mm. Oh, but wait. This prism is three times bigger than that pyramid. If it's three times bigger than that pyramid, and it has the same height, then they have to have the same bases, which says, A, their bases are congruent. It's not that they're not related. It's not that it's three times or one-third as big. It's that they are the same. Right? So remember that. If you have a prism and a pyramid, 
that have the same base and the same height, the prism is three times bigger than the pyramid. Okay, This one is three times bigger than this one. So you need, we did this in class, you need three of those pyramids to equal one of those prisms.